the XY plane, two different angles, alpha. Ooh, are we making a problem about me? <laughs> and beta are in standard position and share a terminal ray. What does that mean? Well, if you were to graph something, okay, here's your regular thing, your regular initial ray, and then your terminal ray is going to show up like this. Both of these guys will look like this, have the same exact picture. So, you know, whatever this is, if I have another one, it's because you added two pi or subtracted two pi or added four pi or whatever. Okay, you spun around again and got the same exact thing. Or maybe you spun around in the opposite direction, which is what minus two pi would be. So based on this information, which the following gives possible values for alpha and beta. So they're going to give you two equations. And are these, not two equations, but two radians. And you have to figure out, are these guys the same ones? Well, this is negative three quarters pi, which lives over here. Is me adding two pi going to get me three pi over four? No, then A is not the option. Is me adding... Uh, 2 pi going to give me that? Well, we're actually subtracting. So is me subtracting 2 pi going to give me negative pi over 4? Nope. Negative pi over 4 is if you subtract 3 quarters pi by regular pi. So that's just spinning it in the opposite direction like that. So that's no good. Pi and 2 pi? No. I mean, here's pi. Here's 2 pi. They're definitely not the same ones. So it's got to be you. So if I'm going from a positive to a negative, it must be because I took 11 pi over 6 subtracted 2 pi, which looks sloppy. So I'll turn 2 pi into 12 pi over 6 to get negative 1 pi over 6 or just negative pi over 6. So yeah, 19 is a problem that's basically saying, hey, uh, which of these guys are exactly the same? Add 2 pi, subtract 2 pi, blah, 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 blah. D is going to be your answer. Okay, pretty standard. Hope this helps.